guys. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, where I plan to record the final few videos. As you can see, if we go to the compendium or to the progress menu in general, I finished the story. A few days ago, I forget when I did all the challenges, I got 100% completion and I fully filled in the compendium. several entries back then. So now I don't really know, or I could go back to those older videos and figure out which entries I was missing. Um, but I definitely haven't done the legendary animals. Doom. these three pages or wait I don't remember ever talking about rats or snakes I think this was the the first page of the ones I still had to do okay yeah I quickly checked on my channel uh, and I did indeed stop at page 9 so before we start on page 9 I will go through the previous pages and just do the entries I know I missed in their respective videos and the first would be the Nine Bandit Armadillo. Nine Bandit Armadillos can be found in the regions of Cap Tooth Ridge, Chola Springs, and Rio Bravo. As omnivores, their main diet consists of insects, small vertebrates, and often carrion. A varmint rifle is considered to be one of the best weapons to hunt armadillos as the bullets can easily pierce through their carapace. Armadillos can be eaten, though the consistency of their meat is stringy. Armadillo carapaces can be used for crafting. Um, next would be... Not entirely sure. animals that only appear in uh, in New Austin not sure about this one but I'm pretty sure I didn't have this one yet the Cuban land crab the Cuban land crab is native to Guarma as omnivores, their diet consists of leaves, grasses, insects, and carrion. A bow 
and small game arrows can be used to pierce the carapace. Their carcass can be sold to traders. Sounds like one that I wouldn't have found yet at the time. Neotropic cormorants are native to the wetlands and coastal waters of New Hanover, Lemoyne, and West Elizabeth. As carnivores, they prey on aquatic insects, freshwater fish, and crustaceans. A bow and small game arrows is considered the best weapon for shooting cormorants. Their feathers can be used for crafting. I remember thinking that the, because they are neotropic, that they would only be found in Guarma, uh, which they do not. Or no, not in Guarma, in uh, New Austin, I mean. Husky. The Siberian Husky can be found in towns and on ranches across West Elizabeth and New Hanover. Their omnivorous diet usually consists of dog food made up from meat, vegetable matter, and offal. This breed of dog has been bred to help with hunting and gathering. Entries for dogs are mostly the same, so I'll just uh, skip those. Um, all this I had. Oh, the bandit Gila monster. The bandit Gila monster is native to the deserts of New Austin. As carnivores, they prey on small mammals, lizards, frogs, birds, bird eggs, and carrion. The varmint rifle is considered to be the best for hunting lizards of this size. Their herptile meat is edible, and their carcasses can be used for crafting. Um, the desert iguana. The desert iguana is native to New Austin, generally considered herbivores, eating perennial plants, fruit, and occasionally insects. Iguanas can easily be killed with a varmint rifle. Their herptile meat is edible and their skin can be used for crafting. And this one is also new. The Collard Peccary. The Collard Peccary is native to New Austin. Their herbivorous diet consists of agave, prickly pear, cacti, mesquite beans, fruits, nuts, and roots. A rifle or a bow with arrows are considered to be the most effective weapons to use when hunting wild pigs. Their carcasses can be sold to traders, and their meat can be cooked. Um, the moose. Definitely the most elusive animals to, to find in this game. Western Bull Moose. The Western Bull Moose is native to the state of West Elizabeth. Their omnivorous diet includes shoots from willow and birch trees, aquatic plants and forbs. These large mammals can be taken down with either a bow with improved arrows or with a long scope rifle. The pelt and antlers from a moose can be used for crafting. And then the western moose. The 
western moose can be found in the remote forested areas of West Elizabeth, Amberino, and New Hanover. Their omnivorous diet includes shoots from willow and birch trees, aquatic plants, and forbs. The most effective way to hunt these large mammals is either with a bow with improved arrows or with a long scope rifle. The pelt from a moose can be used for crafting. And speaking of crafting, um, even though it's not necessary at all for a hundred percent, I did take it upon myself to to complete all the the trapper outfits. All the outfits and clothing items and saddles that he can make with perfect pelts. Uh, that's something I grinded for for many hours. For absolutely no reward. I feel like the coastal horned owl is one I missed before. Coastal horned owls are found in a variety of habitats across the states. Their carnivorous diet means they prey on small mammals and birds. A varmint rifle is considered to be the most effective way to kill or wound a bird of this size. Owl feathers can be used for crafting and their gamey meat can be cooked for food. Um, then... Maybe this one. The Carolina Parakeet. Carolina Parakeets are native to Bayou Enwa. Their herbivorous diet consists of shrubs, seeds and fruit from forest trees. A bow and small game arrows can take down these small birds. Their carcasses can be sold to traders. Maybe fun to mention that I... Um, in case you don't know, there is a, a task in the epilogue. Epilogue. That um, involves visiting all the graves of your former gang members. Sean. Um, I forget who else. Mrs. Oh, what's her name? And of course, Arthur as well. And I thought it would be a nice moment of closure to visit Arthur's grave at the very end, like when I was done with everything else. And that's what I did. That was a, a nice moment. I've spent a lot of time with this game, actually, more than I would want to, but I was so fixated on completing everything that I wanted to complete, and even all the Trapper stuff, which has no point, but I just wanted to get the most out of the game for as long as I could. And now I'm just glad that it's over and that I can move on to play something else.
I think the Sonoran pronghorns and the Baja pronghorns are new. The Sonoran pronghorn buck can be found in the open deserts of New Austin. Their herbivorous diet consists of grasses, forbs, green shoots, and sagebrush. These large mammals require higher impact weapons when hunting. The ideal weapons for an effective takedown are rifles or a bow with arrows. Their mature venison can be used in cooking and their skin can be used for crafting. is Captooth Ridge and Rio Bravo. As herbivores, their diet includes sagebrush, green shoots, grasses, and forbs. These large mammals require, require higher impact weapons when hunting. The ideal weapons for an effective takedown are rifles or a bow with arrows. Their mature venison can be used in cooking and their skin can be used for crafting. Probably the desert bighorns I missed before. The desert bighorn ram inhabits New Austin. Their herbivorous diet consists of desert holly, cacti, and grasses. The easiest way to take down a ram of this size is by either using a bow with poison arrows or a rifle. Their mutton, horns, and hide can be used for food or crafting. And this is page 8, so now we can carry on with page 9. Rats can be found in Saint Denis and other highly populated areas. As omnivores, they scavenge for any scraps they can find, including seeds, leaves, agricultural crops, and fungi. Rats can be easily killed or wounded with a bow with small game arrows. Their meat is stringy but edible, and their skin can be used for crafting. is the brown rat. Brown rats can be found in armadillo and other densely populated areas. Their omnivorous diet is based on scavenging food as well as grains, seeds, and small mammals and birds. It's considered that a bow with small game arrows is the most effective way to kill or wound rats. Rat skin can be used for crafting, and their stringy meat can be used for cooking. Next is the Western Raven. The Western Raven can be found in a variety of habitats across the states. As omnivores, their diet consists of grains and seeds, but they prefer to scavenge for carrion and eggs of other nesting birds. A bow with small game arrows can be used to kill or wound a bird of this size. Raven feathers can be used for crafting, and their meat can be used for cooking. Next is the red-footed booby. The red-footed booby is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on small fish and squid. The most effective weapon to kill or wound a small bird is a bow with small game arrows. Their gamey meat can be used for cooking and their feathers can be used for crafting.
next is the American Robin. The American Robin is native in a wide no, is native to a wide range of habitats across the states. Their omnivorous diet consists of insects, grubs, berries and fruit. It's considered that the most effective way to hunt these small birds is with the bow and small game arrows. Their plump meat is a good source of food and their feathers can be used for crafting. Next is the rose. I never know how to pronounce this. Roseate spoonbill. The roseate spoonbill is native to Bayou and Wam. As omnivores, their main diet consists of algae, crustaceans, insects, and small fish. The varmint rifle is considered to be the best weapon to kill or wound a spoonbill. Their colorful feathers can be used for crafting and their gamey meat can be consumed. A 41 killed. You had to kill a lot of them or you had to find a lot of their feathers for the... whatever that mission was called for Algernon. Next is the herring gull. Herring gulls can be found in the blue water marsh. Their omnivorous diet consists of bird eggs, marine fish, garbage, and carrion. A bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon for a clean kill. Their gamey meats can be consumed and their feathers can be used for crafting. Next is the Laughing Gull. Laughing gulls can be found across Lemoyne. As omnivores, their main diet consists of bird eggs, insects, squid, crustaceans, fish, and garbage. A bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill a seagull. Their gamey meat is a good source of food, and their feathers can be used for crafting. Next is the ring-billed gull. The ring-billed gull can be found across San Denis. As scavengers, they often steal food from other birds. Their omnivorous diet consists of bird eggs, insects, rodents, and grains. A bow with small game arrows can be used for a clean kill. Gull meat can be used as a source of food, and their feathers can be used for crafting. Next is the Merino sheep. The Merino sheep can be found on ranches and in towns across New Hanover. As herbivores, they feed on pasture plants, grasses, clovers, and forbs. A repeater or a bow with arrows is considered to be the best weapon for hunting sheep. Their wool can be used for crafting and their grisly meat can be consumed. Next is the striped skunk. The striped skunk can be found in a variety of habitats across the states. Their omnivorous diet consists of insects, fish, crustaceans, small mammals, grasses, fruits, and carrion. Skunks have the ability to create a spray using their scent glands to deter predators. This makes long-range weapons like the varmint rifle the best to hunt this type of animal. Their skin can be used for crafting and their meat can be consumed, though it's considered to be stringy. Next are all the snakes. The red boa. The red boa 
is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on rodents, lizards, birds, amphibians. A bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill a snake without causing too much damage to the skin. Their skin can be used for crafting and their stringy meat can be consumed. Next is the rainbow boa. The rainbow boa is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on rodents, lizards, birds, amphibians. A bow with sm small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill a snake without causing too much damage to the skin. Their skin can be used for crafting and their stringy meat can be consumed. Next is the Sun Glow Boa. And I think I will skip some of these snakes because all the descriptions are exactly the same. And I don't want to make this video too long, so yeah, that's the Sun Glow Boa. Next is the diamond back rattlesnake. The diamond back rattlesnake is native to Lemoyne, New Hanover, and parts of West Elizabeth. As carnivores, they prey on ground dwelling birds, mice, rabbits, and gophers. A bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill a snake of this size. Their skin can be used for crafting, and their meat can be used as a source of food. Uh, from now on, I might skip the, the hunting method as well, because it's mostly the same. Next is the Ferdelance snake, or Ferdelance. The Ferdelands snake is native to Guarma. Their extremely toxic venom makes them effective predators, preying on mammals, amphibians, reptiles, and other snakes. Ferdelands snakes are considered to be the most dangerous snake to humans. Next is the black-tailed rattlesnake. The black-tailed rattlesnake can be found in New Austin. As carnivores, they prey on small animals like mice, rats, and lizards. Next is the timber rattlesnake. The timber rattlesnake is native to Lemoyne, New Hanover, and parts of West Elizabeth. As carnivores, they prey on small birds, mice, rabbits, and lizards. Next is the northern copperhead. Northern copperhead snakes can be found across New Hanover and Lemoyne. Their carnivorous diet consists of mice, lizards, insects, and small birds. Next is the Southern Copperhead. Southern Copperhead snakes can be found across New Hanover, Lemoyne, and southern areas of West Elizabeth. Their carnivorous diet consists of mice, lizards, insects, and small birds. Next is the Midland Water Snake. Midland Water Snakes are native to the coastal shores of Roanoke, of Roanoke Ridge and swamplands of Lemoyne. Their carnivorous diet consists of game, frogs, salamanders, and fish. Next 
next is the cotton mouth. Cotton mouth snakes are native to the coastal shores of Roanoke Ridge and swamplands of Lemoyne. Their carnivorous diet consists of game, frogs, salamanders, and fish. And the last snake is the northern water snake. Northern water snakes are native to the coastal shores of Roanoke Ridge and swamplands of Lemoyne. Their carnivorous diet consists of game, frogs, and salamanders, and fish. Next is the scarlet tanager and songbird. Not sure if I'm saying that right. The scarlet tanager songbird can be found in forested areas across Lemoyne, New Hanover, and West Elizabeth. As carnivores, their diet consists of ants, beetles, butterflies, buds, and fruit. Next is the Western Tanager Songbird. Western Tanager Songbirds are found across New Austin, West Elizabeth, and New Hanover. Their omnivorous diet consists of insects, ants, during breeding seasons, and fruit, berries, and buds during winter. Next is the Eurasian Tree Sparrow. The Eurasian Tree Sparrow can be found in the grasslands of West Elizabeth and New Hanover. Their omnivorous diet consists of seeds, grains, and insects. Next is the American Tree Sparrow. The American Tree Sparrow is native to the grasslands of West Elizabeth and New Hanover. As omnivores, their diet consists of berries, seeds, and insects. Next is the Golden Crowned Sparrow. Golden Crowned Sparrows can be found in the brushy grasslands of West Elizabeth and New Hanover. As omnivores, their diet consists of insects, grubs, seeds, berries, and flowers. Next is the American Red Squirrel. American red squirrels are native to the forested regions of West Elizabeth and New Hanover. As omnivores, their diet consists of small animals such as mice, as well as nuts, seeds, and mushrooms. Next is the western gray squirrel. The western gray squirrel is native to the forested regions of West Elizabeth and New Hanover. Its omnivorous diet consists of nuts, berries, seeds, eggs, and small birds. Okay, that's it for page 10. Moving swiftly to page 11 with the black squirrel. The black squirrel inhabits the woodlands of New Hanover and parts of West Elizabeth. Its omnivorous diet consists of seeds, nuts, small insects, and fungi. Next is the western toad. Western toads are native to the Lemoyne wetlands. As carnivores, they prey on large bees, beetles, ants, crayfish, and arachnids. Their legs are a great source of food. <laughs> Next is the Sonoran Desert Toad. 
Sonoran desert toads are native to Rio Bravo. As carnivores, they prey on centipedes, lizards, spiders, and mice. Next is the eastern wild turkey. The eastern wild turkey can be found in the forested or brushy regions of West Elizabeth, New Hanover, and Lemoyne. As opportunistic omnivores, they can be found foraging for insects, seeds, and grasses. Likely the most accidental road kill in the game is turkeys, at least when I was playing. Next is the Rio Grande Wild Turkey. The Rio Grande Wild Turkey is native to New Austin. The opportunistic omnivore forager feeds on insects, seeds, foliage, grasses, and nuts. Next is the alligator snapping turtle. The alligator snapping turtle is native to the swamplands of Lemoyne. Their primarily carnivorous diet means they prey on other smaller turtles, frogs, snakes, as well as some aquatic plants. Next is the Eastern Turkey Vulture. The Eastern Turkey Vulture is native to New Hanover and Lemoyne. They prey on reptiles, birds, fish, and amphibians. When hunting, they prefer freshly dead animals due to the meat being softer. if I just did the western or the eastern one. Anyway, now is the western turkey vulture. Western turkey vultures are found in a variety of habitats across New Austin and West Elizabeth. Its omnivorous diet consists of birds, amphibians, and fish. They prefer freshly dead animals due to the meat being softer. Next is the grey wolf. <laughs> 143 killed. They ambush you a lot, so it's most often out of necessity. Like, I don't remember ever actively hunting for wolves, except for the timber wolves, because I was missing those and I couldn't find any. The gray wolf's main habitat is in the Big Valley region and north tall trees. As carnivores, their diet consists of deer and mountain goats, as well as smaller animals like birds, beavers, and fish. As wolves often attack in packs, it is recommended that long-range weapons like rifles or a bow with arrows are used to wound or kill a wolf. And next is the timber wolf. The timber wolf is native to the Cumberland Forest and the Grizzlies. Its carnivorous diet consists of elk, mice, rabbits, and squirrels. Their vicious nature means that long-range weapons are best to take them down. Next is the red-bellied woodpecker. The red-bellied woodpecker can be found in Roanoke Ridge. As omnivores, their diet consists of insects, fruits, nuts, and berries. And the last.
last non-legendary animal is the pileated woodpecker. Again, not so, not sure if I'm saying that correctly. The pileated woodpecker can be found in the woodland areas of New Hanover. As omnivores, their diet consists of insects, fruits, nuts and berries. Okay, and I think I will end the video here and we will go over the legendary animals in the next one. Um, I hope you like these videos. Uh, there are a few left to do, but not that many. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to getting those videos done. some closure of this game. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and for listening, and I will talk to you next time.